Hello and welcome to Google Sheets learning series. In this episode we will talk about how to extract a string before and after a specified character from any given string. To follow along with me, please click on the link in the video description to make a working copy of this workbook. I have two sheets on this workbook. See it sheet for me to demonstrate and do it for you to practice. Let us go to the see it sheet now. What I'm trying here is to extract the first and the last name from these emails. I can see that the email is created using the first name dot last name at the company. So how do I extract the first part that is before the dot as my first name from this string? From my past learning, I know I can use the left function, but look what happens when I do that. I can go ahead and type in left in the first name column, select that function, and I need the left characters from this string, comma. How many number of characters do you require? Now that's the part that is tricky. I need to provide that dynamically. I don't know how many characters are there because for the first email, I can see there are four characters, J O H N. All of these emails have different number of characters for their first name. So how do I get that dynamically? I can use a function called find to find the position of that dot in that email and supply that output as the number of characters for the left function. And that is how I am going to get that number dynamically. I can start typing in the function find right here, but let me make it simple for you. Let me first try the function in the column C. Let me escape out of this one. In the cell C2, I will type in the function called find equal to find. This function will find the position of a specified character in any given string. So I will click that function. The first argument that this function is requiring is what are you searching for? So I will provide that in double quotations. I'm searching for a dot. Where am I looking? I am looking in this string. I can provide another argument. That's the third argument. Where do you want the search to begin from? From the first character or the second or the third? By default, it starts from the first character. So that is okay with me. So I will remove that comma, close the bracket for now and press enter. It is asking me to autofill. I don't want it right now. So I will just ignore that. So I can see that the dot is at the fifth position in this first email. If I drag this down, it's on the eighth position. So I know now where the dot is sitting. And with that in hand, I can extract my first name from that email using the left function. Now, if I use the left function in the column E, L E F T, where do I want the left string to be extracted from? That is from this email, comma, how many number of characters? Now I have this dynamic output, the position of the dot symbol in that email provided in the column C. I will use that. I will close the bracket and press enter. Look what happens here. It's also calling in the dot. I don't want that dot. Let me ignore this autofill for now. To get rid of that dot, I just need to remove one number. That is move that number behind one position. To do that, what I will do is I will just go back into this function and in the number of characters that is C2, I will say minus one and close the bracket and press enter. I now got rid of that dot. I will drag this down and I can see I have all my first names extracted beautifully. Now, how do I go about extracting the last name? The last name is sitting in between that email. So I would need the characters after that dot and before the at symbol. To do that, I need to know the at symbol position first. So I will go in the column D. How do we do it? We type in find function. In the find function, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the at the rate symbol. In the double quotations, I provide that at the rate symbol, comma. Where am I looking? I'm looking in this email column. So I will select that, close the bracket, press enter. At this time, I will accept the autofill. So I know the position of the at symbol in these emails. So now I will go into the last name column. I will call in the mid function, M-I-D, because I need the string from the middle of that email. 
Now, where do I need that middle string from? I will need it from this one. Where should it start from? It should start from this dot position, comma. And how many characters do I want? So I want the characters that is this position minus this position. Close the bracket and press enter. I have all my last names extracted, but I also have that dot added to it. Let me ignore this autofill. Now to get rid of that dot, I will move this C2 and add a number one to it so that it starts at the sixth position after the dot. So it starts picking the characters right after the dot, the sixth position. Let me press enter now. It's done, but I now have that at the rate symbol. To get rid of it, I can simply go ahead and add minus one here and press enter, done. I can simply drag this down up to this point and I have all my last names extracted. I could have used that function find right inside this left function or inside the mid function. That concept that is using a function inside a function is known as nested functions. Let me show you how we do it. I go ahead and type in left function here. Where do I need the string from? I need it from this email ID comma. How many number of characters? Right at this place, I can type in my find function. And what am I looking for? I am looking for a dot. Where am I looking? I'm looking in this email. Close the bracket. Now, minus one. Close the bracket and press enter. I have all my first names extracted using the nested function. I want you to practice this as much as you can. Go into the do it sheet now. Practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. Until next time.